Hey, this is Ish, and in this video, I'm pitting Adobe Premiere Pro versus Adobe Premiere Elements. We will look at several key areas to help you determine which video editor is right for you. What are they? First, let's start with an overview of Premiere Pro and Elements. They are both desktop video editing software. They've been around for years, allowing users to manipulate and arrange video shots to structure and present information. This includes all forms of media like films, television shows, family vacations, or educational tutorials. What separates these two software are who they are made for. Premiere Elements can be looked at as a little brother when comparing these two offerings from Adobe. I honestly had never heard of Elements before until I was researching for a more cost-effective video editor. Elements is geared towards beginners. It offers basic and intuitive features so beginners can edit videos fast. Pro is the big brother. As the name states, it's software used by professional video editors to make Hollywood movies, documentaries, music videos, and various types of video content. Pro is geared more to intermediate and advanced video editors. With different plugins offered by Pro, you'll be hard pressed to find the video editing technique that Premiere Pro is incapable of. Price. Now that you better understand each software, let's compare them in more detail, starting with pricing. To give you an idea, I'm going to talk about the standalone price for each software as it stands in 2022. You can check Adobe's website if you want the most recent price, discounts, and what it costs bundled with Adobe's other suite of applications. Right now, Adobe offers three different subscription plans for Premiere Pro. You can choose to be built monthly at $31.49 and cancel anytime, or it can be built yearly at a discounted rate and pay $20.99. The third option is to be built up front at $239.88 a year. For Premiere Elements, the pricing is $99.99 for a one-time purchase before taxes and fees, and the software is yours. You would only pay for Elements again if you wanted to upgrade because Adobe released a new feature for Elements. Software upgrades for Premiere Pro are included with your subscription. Unless you plan on using Premiere Pro for four months or less, Premiere Elements would be the least expensive option, especially that it's a one-time cost. It's not a recurring subscription. The price winner is Premiere Elements interfaces. Now let's discuss the different interfaces. Premiere Elements offers three preset interfaces or modes, quick, guided, and expert. The quick mode lets you quickly perform the most common editing tasks. Use this mode to add titles, effects, transitions, and background music to your clips. The guided mode offers a set of built-in guided edits. Each edit takes you through a series of steps to help perform a task. This guided approach helps you quickly learn Adobe Premiere Elements. The expert mode lets you edit your videos using all Premiere Elements tools according to Adobe. It includes more options for effects, transitions, and tools than a quick mode. Premiere Pro interface is free or flowing. The great thing about Pro is it lets you customize the interface to your liking. When the main Pro window opens, panels are organized in an arrangement called Workspace. The default workspace has both standalone panels and groups of panels. Pro has 15 default workspaces that are based on different post-production tasks like color or audio. Pro also easily allows the use of dual monitors. Because it's customizable, the winner of this round is Premiere Pro. The score is tied, so let's look at effects. Effects. Premiere Elements offers many of the same effects as Premiere Pro, such as keyframing, transitions, and masking. In Elements, these features may be slightly watered down or not as widely known. As one of the leading video editors, Premiere Pro contains full effect capabilities. Winner. Premiere Pro. Color correction. Premiere Elements has basic color correction features that allow for the adjustment of exposure and color. Premiere Pro has a Lumetri color panel, the built-in color grading interface inside of Premiere Pro. It also offers the ability to add a LUT, which stands for lookup table. It is a straightforward way to color grade footage to give your footage a distinct and consistent look. If you want to know why the colors in that travel video look amazing, or your favorite YouTube videos always pop, is a good chance they are using a LUT. There's also a good chance you could buy one of those LUTs and your video can get the same look. Winner, Premiere Pro. Ease of use. Elements was designed with beginners in mind. You can quickly figure it out if you have experience using programs like Microsoft Word or Google Docs. The same is true for Pro. It can just be intimidating the first time you open it up. Elements was designed to be easy to use. Winner, Premiere Elements. YouTube Tutorials. One of the big differentiators I've found with Elements and Pro is that if you search on YouTube for Premiere Elements Tutorials, you'll come up with only a handful of creators. If you search for Adobe Premiere Pro Tutorials, you will find a ton of creators. There are videos for beginners on how to use Pro and some complicated movie effects. 
that free support can't be overlooked, especially because if you don't like how one person presents the information, maybe someone else can explain it on your terms. If you're looking for Premiere Elements tutorials, you've come to the right place. I've got over two dozen Elements tutorials on my channel. So watch another video if you want to get started with Premiere Elements and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my new videos. That said, the winner of this round is clearly Premiere Pro. Overall, Premiere Pro is a better video editor. That's why it's an industry standard. Which one is right for you? Even though both Pro and Elements are created by Adobe, the project files can't be transferred between the two programs. If you start a project in either program, expect to finish it, start over, or export what you have and import it into the other program. That means for right now, you have to pick one for your next project. If you haven't used either one, Adobe offers a free trial for both software so you can download and try them yourself. The main question you have to ask yourself is why you want to edit videos. If you're trying to edit your podcast and upload it to YouTube, you don't need Premiere Pro. That can be done with Premiere Elements. On the other hand, are you planning to create your own movie or film one day? Then you're better off investing in Premiere Pro. Another example is a talking head style of video where you sit in front of a camera and speak directly to your audience. I would recommend Premiere Elements in that case because for that level of editing, it's more about you versus what fancy editing software you use. For most, the deciding factor will be cost. At almost $250 a year versus a one-time cost of $100, Premiere Elements might be your best bet if you're starting out. That money saved could be better invested in getting a camera, microphone, ring light, or updating your background set. Video editing software is just one element of making a compelling video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below. Tell me which video editor is right for you and why. Maybe a comment will help someone decide which one to pick. My name is Ish, and I challenge you to go out there and have a new experience today. Thanks for watching.